We are now in the area of the basement of the hospital. In this video released by Israel's military, it says Hamas used the Aurentisi hospital as a command center and to hold hostages. A woman, clothes and a rope. The video shows explosives along Kalishnikov rifles. There are also baby bottles and diapers, as well as curtains that have been strung up on top of a wall. No reason to put here a curtain unless you want to film hostages and deliver movies. CBC News has not been able to verify any of the video. This was the Alrentisi Hospital five days ago, full of pediatric patients, including some who were receiving cancer treatment. Doctors said they were quickly running out of supplies as the fighting raged around them. But Israel says Hamas was using some of the most vulnerable to shelter itself. Not far from the hospital, the military says they found this. This is a cover tunnel. A tunnel complete with electricity that runs 20 meters deep. This is Hamas using hospitals as human shield, as terror machines. This is not the last ops hospital like this in Gaza. Israel says there's also a command center under the El Shifa hospital, Gaza's largest, which is now surrounded by intense fighting as hundreds of patients are reportedly still inside. The hospital director told CBC News that a generator running incubators shut down. He said at least four premature babies died and more than 30 others are at grave risk. Because now without oxygen, without incubators, they lost feeding, especially milk is not uh, available now for them. Israel says Hamas is preventing the patients from being evacuated. I don't believe them. Dr. Mustafa Barghouti is with the Palestinian National Initiative and has been to El Shifa many times. They say there are tunnels nearby, near hospitals. What does near mean? It could be 500 meters away. But even if that was true, it doesn't justify bombarding hospitals. It doesn't justify killing children. And according to the UN, thousands have already been killed while so many others are now traumatized from fleeing homes surrounded by violence. There's mounting international pressure to at least temporarily stop the fighting. Well, I remain somewhat hopeful, but the hospital must be protected. Briar, there were more signs tonight of efforts to negotiate a deal to, to release some of the hostages. That's right. The U.S. president spoke about some of the efforts underway to secure a deal to release hostages in exchange for some kind of pause in fighting. Hamas said tonight that it was willing to release 70 hostages in exchange for a five-day truce. Israel has consistently said that there will be no ceasefire without the hostages being released. Barry Stewart reporting from Jerusalem.